Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got uh, Gunslinger Hellmark Station Suicidal. This is a good map, honestly. It's uh, it's a little bit dark for me. I like the uh, the lighter maps a little bit more, but uh, yeah, it's fine. It's a good map. It's well designed. Um, I think. Anyway, I mean, it might just be based on something in London, but uh, if it is, then the peeps in London did a good job of designing it. Um, it's nice and spacious, nice and... Uh, you're never really in a, in a position where you you can't walk past the Zed. Like right there, you know? This door is nice and wide. You know, if it is based on anything in uh, in London or something like that, if it is based on a uh, proper train station over there, I don't know. I've never been to London, dude. I'm gonna go one day, but uh, not not today. Um, this is this is the best we're gonna get. Uh, they they probably increased the size of things a little bit, is my guess, or, or, or decreased the size, but but probably uh, tweaks things around a little bit to make it uh, a little bit easier to fit inside the, uh, the thing. I don't know who made it. If it was a community-made map, or if it was a uh, tripwire-made map, or whatever. I don't know, but it's a nice one. I like it a lot. It's good. It's not uh, it's not up in the like favorite maps. That's definitely going to Spillway, Steam Fortress. That's about it. Um, <laughs> Desolation's pretty good too, but a little bit too dark for me. And I know, I know. Look, Desolation—they made it brighter than uh, than it was supposed to be. You know, they—they uh, they definitely brightened it up a little bit. It was supposed to be like super dark, and you're supposed to have to go and get the the. Uh, the things turn it on, you know, the the generator. Like, I I understand that. I still like I still think it was too dark though. I like uh, I like the brighter maps for sure. Um, you know, I'm not uh, I'm not into the whole you know darkness and creepiness and stuff. I like the the very visible. And Hellmark Station is for the most part uh, fairly bright, fairly easy to see, um, and I I appreciate that, you know. I appreciate that a great deal. It's it's uh I'm never stuck in somewhere and I'm just like, yeah, I can't see unless like a bloat's you know, bloating all over me, but you know, how often does that really happen, right? Anyway, anyway. Today I've got another uh, four KF two episodes to record, including this one. It's uh Yeah, I got the stream coming up. It's it's a big day, it's an exciting day. It's it's been a while since I've really uh done like a lot of recording in one day you know this week I, I did not do a lot of recording on any of the days so it's, it's definitely been a while and uh, so I'm excited about it you know I like the recording I've, I've, I've mentioned it before but I enjoy this I like what I'm doing right now and I find it fun and so it's nice to, to be able to, to sit down and, and get this done again finally because for a while there I was I was not feeling up to it I was not feeling good not feeling happy and inspired and dedicated and motivated it, it was it was uh you know getting the bare minimum done and, and at times even getting less than the bare minimum done at times even making a negative progress you know um so it's a uh, geez dude uh at times you know it was uh but i'm um, here now we're, we're making some some good videos i'm having a good time and that's uh, nice we got the monster in a stream going on me I'm, I'm happy for it to be friday not because it's friday and i don't have to work tomorrow although that's not hurting um but uh you know largely because uh it's friday today and i get to to have fun recording and uh, that that's 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 more important to me than the than the weekend is honestly so I'm gonna try and get uh, at least one Yamashak tries done today, cause there, like, there's just a few games that I really want to try, uh, but I'm not sure I'll have the time to make it happen, cause uh, you know there's 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 a lot of stuff to do today, so um, we'll we'll have to wait and see. I got the, the Gunfire Reborn stuff. I'm not sure. Like at the end of the day, I, I've I've also got to worry about my voice, my uh, my personal. My throat and, 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 and all this kind of stuff. Have not been working on my voice, by the way. It's kind of, um... I don't know. It's kind of weird. Being, uh... I guess, I guess, I guess we're talking about trans stuff today. 
So I'm uh, I'm trans. If y'all haven't known, you got like you got y'all are getting launched, dude. How's that feel? Probably feels sick. In uh, in both the you're probably sick after that, and in the like, dude, that's like I want to do that. Feels like uh, Steam Fortress when you go up the uh, the big old. I want to call it an elevator, but it's a spaceship. And you get to, you get to jump through it, and you go. Ah, oh, it's good stuff, man. So I'm guessing the way that this works is they probably spawn outside, and then fall into like a portal that just kind of yeets them into uh, through here. Is my guess. That's probably how it works, right? I I, I bet it is. That's how I'd do it if I were doing this. Cause I don't know if you can make them spawn in a portal. I think you have to put them in somewhere and then uh, maybe they spawn below behind it or something like that. I don't know, dude. I don't know, man. Anyway, anyway, uh, we're gonna be talking about the trans stuff today, I guess, cause cause that's a, a topic to talk about. It's uh, I mean, it's probably a depressing topic, but I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna do it anyway. I don't really care about your head being popped. I just care about you dying. Um, it's it's weird because uh, I'm 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 I've been I've been doing the whole transitioning thing like really really slowly. Like I've been doing it for two or three years now. I can't remember. Um, and like this is still my voice, <laughs> you know. And uh. My, uh, you guys don't know what I look like, but, uh, my face is definitely still needing some work. I currently have, you might be able to hear, I'm currently, uh, facial hair extravaganza here. Um, I'm gonna be shaving today, but, you know, I just, uh, my, my progression on this transition is, like, just really, really slow. And, and uh, it makes me feel kind of bad at times, because I feel like I should be living up to what trans more is you know but uh then at the same time i kind of think you know whatever like I, i'm working at my own pace i'm in no rush you know i'm uh i've said it before but i'm patient i have uh, i have patient in in I, I have patience in in droves you know like i'm i'm happy to to wait for years to get something you know like that's i don't, I don't consider that to be like a, a long wait you know like not a super long wait, anyway. Um, and uh, yeah, I just kind of it's, it's kind of funny because I see people who, who have started transitioning like after me, and they're like you know these beautiful, beautiful women and and, and having a good time and stuff, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not there yet. So it, it does kind of make me depressed because I know that I could have accomplished more in the time that I have, but at the same time, I, I feel like. Uh, I don't. I don't feel as bad about my life, really. So I kind of uh, don't mind it so much. But I do want to get started on. I do want to not get started. That's definitely not true. I have. Uh, I have been started for a very long time. But I do want to. You know, start making, getting a move on, on, uh, on this stuff. Getting, uh, getting stuff progressing a little quicker. I've kind of been putting it off until I've lost weight for a certain period of time, because. Like, I just, I don't think I'm going to be happy. Like, uh, feminine or not, I'm not going to be happy if I'm fat. You know? Like, that's not going to happen. So, I, I've kind of been, uh, putting it off for a bit just because, uh, like, there's so much time before I've, I've lost the weight to, to get to a weight that I'm happy with. So, it's like, well, whatever, dude. Oh, did I hit it? I think I hit it, but I don't think we one-shot him. I, we hit him. I know we hit him. I don't know if we hit a head. Um, but anyway, it's a uh, it's a complicated thing, right? Because there's like a lot to go into it, and what I really need to do is I need to buy clothes. What's uh what what sucks is I buy clothes, right? And I have to like buy a whole new wardrobe, okay? Like everything, um, down to like underwear, okay? Like everything socks shoes underwear you name it i have to get new stuff okay um and and to a certain extent we're gonna have to do it again once i've lost weight because like that's 
I'm not gonna fit into the stuff that I have right now so well. I mean, it'll like be on me, but it won't be like hot. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'll have, to, I'll have to get new clothes at that point. Um, yeah, I think he's like over there, right? Um, and uh, despite that, despite that, my uh, my mother in particular steals my clothes like all of the time. And I'm like, I don't have enough clothes for you to be stealing my stuff. Why is he so slow? Like, I don't I don't have enough clothes for, for people to, to take my clothes, you know, like It's just not really a thing that I that I can Yeah, whatever dude. It's not really a thing that I can I can I can have happen, because I have like I have pant like a number of pants that I can count on one hand, you know? I have uh, a number of shirts that that is probably like you know twelve or something. Uh, my underwear goes missing at times, and I'm like, I really like would love to be able to wear underwear every day. Um, you know, it's kind of a priority for me, uh, and it just goes missing, and people like take it or whatever, and I'm like. Mm, you know, it really sucks because uh, I only have so much. Cause like I have a a pink pajama shirt that just says pink on it, and my mother had the same shirt. Now she has two of them, and she thinks they're both hers. She will not give them back to me. She gets mad at me if I try to take it, and I'm like, literally mine. You didn't buy two of them. What are you doing? Um. Uh, and like. Just, just shirts. I, I don't have any like my pajama pants. I'm wearing a uh, like some fluffy pajama pants right now. I have four more pairs of pajama pants. I own four more pairs of pajama pants. I do not know where they are. They're they're not in my room. They're not in my you know dirty hamper. They're not in my clean hamper. They're not in my dresser. They're not they're not anywhere to be found. They're they're like gone, you know. And uh, it's like okay. I I imagine that. Uh, and the thing is is like our fashion is different like our fashion choices are different you know like me and my mother so she will take my clothes and then never wear it because she either doesn't fit into it or she uh just doesn't like it I'm like why'd you take it <laughs> why, why are you taking it if you're not uh, so much a fan of it like at least wear my clothes if you're gonna take it my goodness that way i can at least see you having it and being like hey yo that's mine. Give it back, you know. But she just, she just takes it, puts it in her dresser, and she's like, eh, "I don't really want to wear this because I don't like it so much." And I'm like, "Well, I'm not gonna go looking through your dresser for my clothes because I'm not that kind of a monster." But oh, it's just so annoying because like, yeah, it's it's just one of the reasons why I really want to move out. Honestly, uh, I mean, there's like a, a number of reasons why I want to move out. Let's let's get into them. Let's list them. Let's list them. Why do I hate living with my parents? Why is it the worst thing that I've ever had to do? Well, for, for starters, you know, my clothes go missing. And, uh, you know, when I'm living on my own, clothes will still probably go missing, okay? I'm not uh, I'm not gonna sit here and say that I, I won't accidentally, like, you know, put them in the fridge at times or something. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not quite that capable, but definitely will be a, a less frequent occurrence. Um, so like just being able to know that I can go to the store and buy a nice shirt and then it'll be my shirt forever instead of somebody else's shirt who just decides that they're gonna have it now um, that's definitely like a, a plus for for you know that's, that's a pro on the on the whole like living on your own thing right knowing that uh, you go to a store you buy some you buy like you know you, you see a cute shirt you pick it up you see a cute dress you pick it up you see a cute pair of pants that makes your butt look good you pick it up you know you know that stuff's yours. Ain't nobody gonna just take it from you because ain't nobody living in your place. Okay? And uh, the amount of money it would save me to, to be living on my own. <laughs> that I just won't have to buy as much clothes. Oh, incredible. Um, so that's, that's, that's reason numero uno why uh, living on my own would be well, not reason numero uno. It's not. A, it's not a list. It's not a, 
not in any particular order here, okay? It's the first reason that uh, that we're talking about. Reason number two, why I, uh, and this is the most important reason why I want to move out so badly, is, uh, at, uh, I, like, I pay rent here still, too. Not, not, not much, but, like, I, I don't know. I don't know what, what, what ends up being more. The difference in rent or the difference in, uh, me having to buy less clothes. I really don't know. Um, <laughs> I do know. But, uh, and it's definitely, the rent is, is more expensive. But, anyway, so, uh, so reason number, reason number two, and this is the, the most important reason, the most, uh, crucial thing, is, uh, my mother goes to sleep, like, just insanely early sometimes like we're talking 7 30 8 o'clock um, and at that point I can't I can't make noise okay and I don't know you're like oh you can't like be uh, playing loud music you can't be uh, you know laughing with your friends or whatever excuse me no I mean like I can't cough where she starts to yell at me you know like it's 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 bad like what I'm doing right now, being being loud, noisy, boisterous, you know, this this kind of content. I'm not sure I'd be uh, recording it past, you know, at like at 2 a.m. in the morning anyway, because you know, if I'm living in an apartment or something like that, I still have neighbors, I still have people, you know, above me, below me, people who want to, to sleep, you know. So there's there's a certain level of respect that you have to give there. But like 7:30, look, if I'm making some noise at 7:30 by by recording or whatever talking to people or whatever like and and you want to complain about it complain to the the dang like uh landlords here because uh, they should put thicker walls in that that you can't be like listening to my conversation so much but like uh at, at a certain point like even like nine o'clock past nine o'clock like I, you know people are sleeping and stuff you don't want to make too much noise but like here it's like 7 30 sometimes my mother's asleep, and I'm I'm not even able to like cough or sneeze, you know. Like if I'm ha if I'm like sick, and uh, I don't get sick often, especially these days. I, I really don't get sick often with uh, with COVID around because everybody's so much more careful. Which is like, uh, why weren't you guys careful before? Because this is so much better. Um, but uh, and you know, obviously, like when you get sick, it's a lot worse now. So. You know, um, kind of makes sense. But um, when I when I would get sick or whatever, and I'd have like uh, be coughing or, or sneezing or or needing to clear my throat a lot or whatever, my mother would uh, would tell would like force me to start like getting medications and and taking like cough medication and stuff. I'm like I really don't like taking this stuff I'm fine I'm just gonna cough a bit but she'd like be like no I have to sleep you have to take this and I'm like I'm not um, like no um, you know to, to a certain extent you want to take some medication to make you sleep better but like I'm not taking like like a lozenge or something like no I, I don't want to and I'm not going to but uh, she gets so mad because I'm, I'm coughing and keeping her up. And I'm like, I, I understand that, like, you know, you have responsibilities and stuff. But, like, at the same time, I just, uh, I, wa I want to be able to, to talk to, to friends or whatever at, like, 7.30 at night. And then not have uh, somebody, like, screaming at me to, to shut up. I want to be able to cough and not be like, uh-oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just, uh, really, 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 really annoying. So... Like there's just there's there's the the noise level that I that I can, that I can have past like eight o'clock is is zero, you know. I I squeak my chair sometimes and I'm like oh god is she gonna scream at me and it's like this panic that comes from from uh, being concerned about this is is just so unpleasant as well so it's like just just bad all around you know. Um, anyway so that's that's reason number two and it's definitely the most prevalent reason why I really hate living here is just because like I don't get I don't get to, to do what I want <laughs> at like eight o'clock like I have to be quiet which is why I love Thursdays so much because she works lights and then uh, I get to make noise a little bit later to like 9 nine thirty I'm like that's that's a good time right that's a good time to be shutting up and and not making noise for people you know um, 
but it's just it's really it really sucks so I want to I want to get out of here and I like I can't even blame her so much because like she has to sleep and 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 pay for you know mortgage and all this kind of stuff but like it uh, at least if I were some, like renting a place you know, out I'd be able to be like we're both paying for this rent we're both just as important here so you know you're just gonna have to learn to deal with it I guess um, <laughs> I'll, I'll you know put up some sound stuff on the, the the ceiling I guess if you're really bothered by it but like you know I'm 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 living my life here you know whereas here I'm kind of like I can't do that so much because because I, I I have to recognize that that she also has responsibilities and stuff and I have less responsibilities um, but uh, you know so that's that's reason number two reason number three is uh, I uh, I wake up in the morning, and the first thing I do is I put clothes on. Right, first thing I do is I I uh, generally speaking anyway, not not always, and um, but generally speaking is the the first thing I do is I put clothes on. Right, at least one of the first things I do is is put clothes on, and uh, for living on my own, I could I could remedy that. I could remedy that with uh, not having to wear clothes as much, and that would just be a, a more comfortable experience, you know, to to be able to be like, yeah, I don't really need to put on like, I can just you know wear underwear, it's fine, you know, throw on a bra and 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 you know, chill out, it's fine, you know, um, which is uh, is comfortable, right? Uh, reason number three why I want to uh, to live on my own is uh, privacy, honestly, to a certain extent. Quiet. I know I'm, I'm talking like I want to be able to make noise, and then also like I want to be able to remain quiet. Like uh, my father is working on something in the garage. I live in a uh, in a room that used to be a part of the garage. They just put up a wall. The old homeowners of this building put up a wall uh, in the garage, and then made like a uh, a spare room. And we've turned it into my bedroom. And uh, this is where I live. It's where I spend the vast majority of my time. Because I don't want to be a part of uh, anybody else's lives really here so much. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, it's not, not that I hate them. You know what I mean? Like, I just... I want my own thing, you know? And, and if I stay in my room and don't leave, I get to kind of pretend that I have my own thing, you know? Um... <laughs> So uh, my, my father is working on something and his, his workshop is the other half of the garage. So when he turns his compressor on or whatever, when he's hammering away or painting or doing whatever, I hear it all and it's so noisy and he'll start doing it at like seven or eight in the morning. And I'm like, I just wanted to sleep. And you know, again, if you're living out in a, an apartment or something like that, people might make noise and stuff. But it's not going to be a compressor like six feet away from your face. It's going to be some people, you know, maybe, you know, getting under the blankets and, and moving the bed around a little bit, if you know what I mean. It's not going to be as disruptive, uh, even though it could still definitely be a thing that happens. It won't be as bad, and it'll, it'll be an improvement, right? Um, so that's, that's another reason why I hate living here. Uh, let's see. What's another one? I got it kind of ties into the last one, but I don't like having to um, see people every day. Like I'm, uh, I'm more of an introvert. Having to see people every day is is a lot, even if it's my family, especially if it's my family. Um, having to see them every single day is uh, more of them than I want to see. And. Uh, being able to live on my own means I'd be able to go and see them maybe once a once a week or once every couple of weeks or whatever and kind of on my own time rather than you know being up and then having to go see them and then be like you want to play a game you want to play a board game you want to want to watch a movie we're watching we're having movie night tonight you're watching a movie with us I'm like I just I don't want to though <laughs> I don't I don't want to be a part of uh, of all of this really um, oh, I wanted to tap his head first the head would have been better, but eh, whatever. Um, so that's another reason why I'd like to, to live on my own is just to, to be able to control when I actually see my family, rather than uh, it be just kind of what happens naturally because we live in the same building. Um, 
My mother's also like kind of a terrible landlord because she'll start harassing me for the month's rent like two or three weeks before it's even due sometimes and I'm like I'll give you the rent when it's actually time to pay um, but it's still like you know she, she isn't doing it this month but like sometimes it'll be like October 20th or something like that and I don't pay until the first of the month and she'll be like hey do you have the rent yet and like every day she's like we really need that rent I'm like I'm not even paid yet what do you want me to give you I don't have money <laughs> um, so being somewhere where it's like yeah get us your money by this point and then we're good is kind of like fine whereas my parents are kind of like not so financially stable and then they need to harass me for money every now and then and I'm just like I'll pay you when I have money but like I don't have it until the end of the month <laughs> it's not there I cannot give you money first of the month every month that's when I pay and uh, I'd like to get away from that stress for sure so anyway that's why I want to move out it's a ways away though unfortunately it's got uh, so many things that need to have happen so many things that need to happen before I can make it work I need to have money and and uh, I'm like committing to YouTube instead of uh, committing to something that would actually get me money um, and it's just kind of not so good for, for the whole moving out thing, but I do want to maybe see about getting another job or something like that just to, to get out of here because it's really not that good. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh,